Okay, so today we're going to be looking at a long division question. So my equation is 1,440 divided by 24. So I'm going to set it up the same as I would for the bus stop method. So 1,440 and I'm dividing by 24. The next thing I need to do is work out my multiples of 24. So I'm going to use my partitioning method. So I've got 24 and in brackets, I'm going to put times one because I know that 24 times one is 24. First, I'm going to partition my tens. So I'm going up in twenties. So my next multiple of 20 is 40. And in my ones, I'm going up in fours. So four, my next multiple four is eight. And in brackets, I'm going to put times two. Now, I would recommend going up to your first five multiples of 24, okay? So next, 20, 40, 60, 4, 8, 12. So I know that 24 times 3 is 72. 20, 40, 60, 80. 4, 8, 12, 16. 24 times 4 is 96. Remember, I'm going to go up to my first five multiples of 24. So one more. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So 120 is 24 times 5. Now I've worked out my multiples of 24, I can come back to my equation. Okay. So we're going to use divide, subtract, bring it on down, bring it on back. So the first thing I need to look at is how many groups of 24 go into one. I know that this is going to be a zero, so that's my divide. I then subtract nothing, so I'm still left with one. So I've done divide, subtract, so now it's bring it on down. And that means that I bring down the next number, which in this case is a 4. OK, so now I'm looking at 14 divided by 24. OK, so I've gone back to divide now. Again, I know that this is 0, so I subtract nothing. And I'm still left with 14. So again, I've done divide, subtract. So now it's bring it on down. So I go to the next four and bring it on down. So I'm now looking at 144 divided by 24. Now, if I look at my multiples of 24 over here, I've only gone up to 120. So I need to do another multiple of 24. So again, back to counting in my 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 120, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, that gives me 144, and that's times 6. So I can now go back to my division, which is 144 divided by 24, and I can see that that's 6. So I'm going to pop a 6 up here, go to my subtract, which is 144, 4 take away 4 is 0, 0, 1 take away 1. I then bring on down my final digit. And again, I've got nothing here, which means I pop a 0 here. So I can see that 1,440 divided by 24 gives me 60. Okay, we're going to go and look at another one now. So this time I'm going to do 18,323 and I'm dividing it by 73 this time. So again, I'm going to set up just as I would for short division.
and I'm now going to work out my multiples of 73. Okay, so I'm going to start over here with 73, and again, I know that's times one. Now this time, my tens are going up in their 70s. Now if I don't know my 70 times table, I can do my sevens and make it 10 times greater. So I know it goes seven, 14, 14 times 10 would be 140. And then my ones is going up in the threes, so three, six. So I can see that 73 times two is 146. Remember, I'm doing the first five multiples. 7, 14, 21, 10 times greater is 210, 3, 6, 9. So my next multiple of 73 is 219. 7, 14, 21, 28 times 10, 280, 3, 6, 9, 12. Add them together, 292 times 4. One more so that I've done my five multiples. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35 times 10, 350, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 365 would be 73 times 5. Now I can move back to my division. So remember, divide, subtract, bring it on down, bring it on back. So one divided by 73 is zero, that's my divide. I then subtract nothing, which still leaves me with one, and then I bring it on down. So I'm bringing down the eight from the thousands column. I go all the way back to divide now, so it's 18 divided by 73, which again is zero. So I subtract zero, I'm still left with 18, then I bring it on down. So I'm bringing down the three now from the hundreds column. So my division now is 183 divided by 73. So I'm going to refer to my multiples of 73. I can see that the closest multiple of 73 to 183 is 146. Remember, we can't use a larger number than the number that we are dividing with. So 146 is 2. So I'm going to pop a 2 above the digit 3. And I'm subtracting 146. So I can't do 3 subtract 6. So I take 1 from the 10s. 13 take away 6 is 7. 7 take away 4 is 3. 1 take away 1 is 0. So that's subtract. Now we go to bring it on down. So I'm bringing down the 2 from the 10s. So now I'm doing 372 divided by 73. Again, I'm going to refer back to my multiples of 73. I can see that 365 is the closest. So I'm going to put a 5 above the 2 and I subtract 365. Okay, so we can't do two take away five, so we take one from the tens. 12 take away five is seven. Six take away six is zero. Three take away three is zero. So that's subtract. Now we're back to bring it on down. Bring down that three. I've got 73 divided by 73 which is one. So I can see that 18,323 divided by 73 is 251.